to make Jacob's Ladders for Halloween. Maybe you know them as click clacks. I know three different ways to put them together. This is one of them, which uses uh, short ribbons. The colors can be a bigger feature than in long ribbon methods. 18 short ribbons for a six block ladder. Okay, for the short ribbons version, unfortunately I can't use my two Halloween ribbons because they won't quite fit across the candies. I've got four in each stack. On this stack, I'm going to use uh, this ribbon and two of these yellow ones. Um, if I can find my other color, I'll use that instead. And on this stack, I'll use the uh, ghost and two of the wider brown ones fit. And I've decided I'm going to try using the ends. So instead of doing it this way, instead of wrapping them this way and stacking them and using the, the nice edges, I'm actually going to try using these floppy edges. So I'm going to... This short ribbon method lets you use different ribbons and have different patterns as they cascade down. But the using these floppy ends of the the chocolates has nothing to do with the short ribbon method. I could have tried this on any of the other methods, um, and of course I could have done the short ribbon method using any of the other boxes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attach this like this, and it's gonna go across the back all the way to the end, and then it's gonna wrap around the next one, and it'll be attached here. So this length is maybe just uh, a little bit longer than what I need. That's my sample length, so all my ribbon segments should be that long. And uh, I'm going to have to cut a lot of them. I have to cut one of these, four of these, for this one, and eight of these, and four of these, and eight of these. So I'll be back when I've got those cut. I ran out of brown ribbon because I used it on the other one. So I decided to cut the other ribbon in half lengthwise. So I've got brown and spiderweb here, plus the oddballs. And here I have the orange and skulls. And I'm going to flip them like that so that all the names are pointing that way. Take my wide ribbon, add a little tape, press it on, and try to center it. I think I'm going to try putting a little blue right there just to help me out. And then the two narrow ribbons. I will do the same on this side, because it's hard to see what I'm doing. I'm going to put them close to the edge, but not quite on the edge. And I'm going to do two of these and two of these, and then test it out before I go any further. So. Uh, here I'm going to do the one on the one side and the two on the two side with the back facing up, but the same pattern of left and right. Okay, so I have two of each. So I'll start with this one. I turn it upside down so that the attachments are facing down. And let me just turn them all upside down so that they're ready to go. And then, as usual, I fold all the ribbons across. And I take the next one. And now I had all the single ones on this side to begin with, right, before they're folded. So I put this one on top. And you can see the, the two ribbons from the previous one, the one ribbon goes in between. So they sort of alternate short and long. Now I want to do the short ribbons, or the ones I'm attaching. The long ones, the ones that are attached to this already, those I'm going to leave for the next round. Okay, so here's a short ribbon. I want to make sure it's not too tight there. And fold it. I really don't know if using these floppy edges of the chocolates is going to work or not. That's why I'm only doing four to start with. I should trim those off, but I'm just going to leave them for now. So this is the bottom, this is the next one, now it's time for this. So I'm going to fold this over. Fold these over. 
with the short ones, the really short ones. Put this on top. And again, just gluing the very short ones that I just folded over and not the long ones that I just placed. So this one, that's really short. But it should be long enough that the hot glue should hold it. Of course, now I have hot glue on my fingers, which is fun as long as it's not too hot. Okay, now let's fold these. And you notice that back to front thing is going on again, taking on a different pattern than the other two times. But still, both back and front do appear. All right, give that a moment. I'll peel it off my fingers, and we'll see if that worked. Okay, it hangs almost straight, and it flops pretty well. I would say there's a little bit of a tendency to twist, but it's not too bad. And as soon as I trim off these short ends, or tape them down or something, I think that'll work better. So I am going to do the rest of these. And also, the very last one, when I go to put the very last one, I don't need any ribbons on it. So I think, I think since I already cut the ribbons, I'll do the ones I prepared and I'll just add one more at the end. So I'm just going to keep on going this same way. I will, um, I think I will trim these off and I'll be back. Uh, on the ones that I glue, just finished gluing, I did not bother using tape. I just hot glued the end of the ribbon directly into the position I wanted. And after I do each one, I'm going to trim them because trimming these was a pain in the neck. I almost cut the wrong ribbon about three times, which given that it's only four candies, that's, that's saying quite a bit. Okay, so let's put the two that way, put the one this way. This is a skull, so I do it. Spiderweb next, and I'm going to hot glue this on and then trim it. Or, well, I'll hot glue all three and then I'll trim all three. I'm trying not to use too much hot glue so that I don't burn my fingers. Okay. Alright, I should wait until that cooled a little bit more. I'll do this one next. Alright, now I'll, I'll fold these. This is the spiderweb. So, Put that upside down. Ah, I put it upside down. This should have gone the other way. Should it? Yep. Oh well. I'll just continue the way I was going and we'll find out whether it makes a difference or not. Okay, so now I actually want to put it so that the glued side is down. My first four were like that, but I have one in the middle that's that's done the other way. We'll find out whether it works or not. I'm also a little worried here because these two are very close in to that one, and that could cause problems. Try not to hot glue your scissors. All right, and this is the last one, the one that I added because I'd already cut the ribbons for all of these. Probably want that upside down. Yeah, let's put it upside down. All right. Does that look like a hand? All right, let's see if this works. Ooh, it's nice and long. 
Ah, so here's my problem. I go to flop it over and it doesn't want to flop because the, the end is bending too much. All right, let's try it from this end. I goofed up there somehow. All right, I'm just going to cut off this end one. Yeah, it works better from this end. All right, I'll try to get a vertical view of this for you. Okay, I tried to get fancy. Instead of doing all of these with one pattern of ribbon and all of these with a different pattern of ribbon, um, I did a progression so that the, the ribbon should gradually change as we go down. So we will see what happens. Sorry about that. I'll put that one on top. Maybe I slide it a little bit this way so that these aren't too tight when they wrap around they have to go a little extra to go around that one. We'll just glue the first one and then show you. So I'm gluing it all the way down so I don't have to trim it. I, I got the lengths a little bit closer to what I need this time. So there shouldn't be too much spare. And I'm going to slide it a little this way before I glue the one that comes from that side. Okay. I'm a little bit worried that in moving it a little over this way and a little over this way and sticking these down, I may have made it too loose. Also, in order to avoid cutting, I put extra glue and tried to stick it down so I, I haven't gotten all the glue off my fingers yet. Uh, so these may be glued together, but let's find out. Let's spread them out and see whether they're stuck to one another. No, they're not. That's good. That's good. They all lay out pretty well. And using the end of this one, nope, they're not quite falling down. That one doesn't want to go. So it's this one here. Oh, that's because it was glued on. Bah! Oh, that could do it. Maybe I should flip them all and see if they all flip. So I'm going to try stretching the ribbon a little bit. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try putting some more weight in these because the uh, little candies that are in them, these are just these things, which uh, used to be death tubes, um, and now they're candy sticks. They're very lightweight, so they're not giving this whole thing much weight. So I'm going to see if I can figure out something to put in those to give more weight. And I'll stretch out the ribbons, and I'll be back with uh, success or failure. Or... Okay, I ate some of the evidence. Could not resist. Here I have the candy stick stack. That one's still sticking, but other than that... They're falling down pretty well, aren't they? They're also hanging pretty straight. How did I do that? I got rid of these things, and I filled these with heavier candies. Some of these came in the packet with the other candies. 
I'm not sure why they wrap them in plastic bags. Uh, is it an allergy thing or is it just to keep the mint from not escaping? I don't know. But I used a whole bunch of them and I only ate the remainder of the last box. I've used Halloween candy to show you the three methods that I know for hooking together boxes into Jacob's Ladders or Click Clacks. Uh, you may have other names for them. So how do they compare? I have the short ribbon wrap that worked. I have the short ribbon wrap that didn't work only because I used the floppy ends of these and uh, because they're hot glued, I don't think it's worth taking apart. I have the sandwich that worked once I put in a little weight. They hang a little bit diagonally, but not too bad. I have the sandwich one that worked quite well, except for the one that twists. Those, maybe if I put that at the bottom, that would work better. Oh, there we go, yeah. Then I have the, the wrap and pack version that functions quite well, but still hangs a little bit crooked. So, three methods. This one, one ribbon all the way. The ribbon is completely on the outside and only fastened on the ends. The sandwich version, one ribbon, well, three ribbons, one per strand all the way, but half the ribbon is in between the filling part of the sandwich and half goes around the outside. Same here. And then the short ribbon version. This uses probably the most ribbon because a little bit of the ribbon of each kind goes around the end and when it flips that gets covered by the other ribbon. So like here, this ribbon is covering that end. This is also the most tedious to make but it probably is the most reliable. It probably works as long as you get the right amount of tension. It probably works the best of all of these. This sandwich version probably works the second best as long as you have the right kind, it's as long as these are relatively thin or tapered on the edges. And the wrap and tack version, the kind that the woodworkers use, is the least reliable in my view, but it could work, like it would probably work for these thin boxes if I could somehow secure it just to the very edge of these boxes. There are my Jacob's Ladders or Click Clacks or whatever you want to call them.